In this video, we are going to talk about statistics required for machine learning in Python. So hey everyone, welcome you all to Mayank Quotes. My name is Mayank and in this video, we are going to have a look on the set of data and we are going to try to find out the mean median mode of that particular data. Because I hope you guys know the basics of statistics. That's what we do in statistics. We try to find the mean median mode of a particular given set of data. So in the same way we are going to do that but in python so let me quickly explain you what we are going to do suppose we have a set of data of a class students of a students in a class and we in that data we are having the percentage of individual students so let me quickly create a list a and this is going to be the a class and the name of the students are going to be random and i'm going to store their percentage inside this list a okay so let's say one student got 70 percentage other student got 75 74 and then we are going to just type out randomly the percentage of individual students suppose this class is only having 10 students so let me quickly add the data of the 10 students or i can say the percentage of these 10 students okay so i'm going to have the random data so let me just add the random values over here suppose we have a topper we have a failure we have the average students okay so i guess this is done now i got all the nine values one value is left so let me add 87 at the last okay so i got the values of percentage inside this list okay so now i want to apply the concept of statistics to this list and you all guys know in statistics we generally try to find out the mean median and mood so what is mean mean is basically the average of set of data that is passed to you so over here we have a set of percentage to me and i'm going to find out the average of this whole class okay so i'm going to find out the average percentage of this whole class and the way i'm going to do this is by adding up this all numbers individually and then dividing this a whole sum with the length of the list but in python we have a separate concept or we have a separate uh, you can say a package that can perform this thing very quickly so let me import that uh, package first to make you explain what that is so here I'm going to import the numfy package and I hope you guys know about numfy package that is numerical python and the way you are going to install this in your PyCharm is very simple you just have to go to settings and inside settings you have to go to the python interpreter over here you can see the plus sign you have to click over here and then above here you have to type numfy so you will get numfy you can install the package from here in the similar way you can also install the scipy package that is scientific python and this both packages are required for this tutorial so please install numfy and scipy first okay so it is really easy you just have to click on install package and then it will be installed and you can see that package over here it's numfy and where's scipy it's scipy okay so let's let, let's let's start working with this and you know how to work with a package you first have to import the package by calling its name import numfy okay so this is how you are going to import the numfy mod, uh, package and you want to use a function inside this numfy package because we want to do this thing uh, automatically not manually so i want to find the mean automatically so we are going to use the numfy and now you can use the math concept as well of uh, you know guys how you are going to use a dot average in maths to get the average but we are working with statistics so we are going to use numfy and in that we have a function that is mean and the mean function is going to find out the mean of the set of data so in this case we have the set of data as a so mean is going to find out the average of the set of data a okay so let me print the numfy dot mean and this is the way you are going to use mean function and if you don't want to use this in this format, then you can just write it like this from numfy import mean. Okay. So now you don't have to write dot numfy or I can say numfy dot mean. You can directly write mean and pass a inside this. Okay. But if you want to write um, the numfy dot mean, then that's also correct. Okay. So I'm going to write from numfy import mean and then I'm going to pass this list inside this mean okay so as soon as i press run over here i will be getting the average of this list and you can see the average is 68.4 and that's correct you can check out the average by your own but i know that this is correct okay so that's about finding the mean in this case but what if you want to find the median so to find the median we have to just write median over here okay so this is the way you are going to find the median and as soon as i press uh, run i will be getting an error because i have not defined median over here so i'm going to just define a median over here and if, if i press run now i will be getting 72 but the main question comes is why i am getting 72 over here 
because in median we are getting the middle value so in this case i can see the middle values are 60 and 70 but my answer is 72 why is this case even if i try to find the average of 60 and 70 that is also not near to the 72 so how i'm getting 72 so let me explain you this concept first to find the median of a list you first have to sort the given list in the ascending to descending order so this list is not sorted you can see that but if i say a dot sort now i will be getting a shorted list and if i print this list now i will be getting a shorted list and you can see over here i'm getting a list in a sorted order and in this list 70 and 74 are my middle values so now if i try to find the average of 70 and 74 that is going to be 72 okay so my answer is correct so now let's move on to the last topic of this session the mode okay and mode is really easy all what you need to do is find the element that comes for the maximum time okay so in our list the maximum number that comes is 70 that comes for two times i guess okay so you can see 70 over here and 70 over here as well but to find out the mode we have to use another package and that is the scipy package so let me quickly call the scipy package over here and the way i'm going to do this is by from scipy and then i want to import the stats module over here okay uh, function over here so this is how i'm going to uh, just import the scipy and i'm going to use the states mode uh, function okay so the way i'm going to use the states function is like i'm going to write states over here and then i'm going to pass my list okay so you can see, clearly see from this given list the value that comes for the most is 70 so i will be getting 70 as my answer and you can see over here i'm getting an error and this error is because i'm passing states and like this i don't know what what is the error let me just check this from scipy import module is not callable stats i don't think so there will be an error there will be an error okay so let me run this code again and i don't know what is the error so let me just check that okay so this is not working so can i just write it like this i hope now it works and it again shows an error and the error is that i don't know what is the error so i'm going to just cover up this thing and okay so i have to use states and states is not a function it's a module okay so i want to use a function inside this module sorry for this thing i want to use a function that is mode and to use mode i have to write states dot mode and this is how i'm going to do that okay so i'm simply going to type states dot mode and states is not a function it's a module inside the package scipy okay so you might get some confusions like this but see you can practice and then you will be able to do it manually by your own okay so stats dot mode and this is how i'm going to use the mode inside the scipy module okay from scipy package okay so over here i'm getting the mod result as mod equals to array 70 so 70 is going to be the element that is going to come for the most of the time and the count is going to be two so this is going to come for two times inside this list okay and that's what i'm getting i'm getting to see okay so that's all about this video in this video we learn about the basics of statistics in python we saw how you can find the mean median mode with the help of numpy and scipy module so i hope you guys enjoyed this video